my mother, who will be 94 on Friday, was born the year that women got the vote on the same basis as men. And I still find that shocking. You know, it's within one generation. Fortunately, we've come a long way, but there are still remaining barriers. So it is really important to have an International Women's Day. Um, and I, I think most people understand that, but until we can have International Women's Day without comments about well, what about International Men's Day, um, then we need it. Visible role models are really important. Um, so a very, very powerful experience for me in my um, first ever psychiatry job, which was very brief, although I went back and worked with the team later. It was three months of um, care of the elderly mentally ill combined with three months of um, medical geriatrics. And the, the first three months was with a wholly female medical team. So two consultants, a senior registrar and three SHOs in, in old terminology, all of us were women. Working in this all-female team was just a revelation. When that was lifted, which it was the year I went to medical school, there were 30 women in my year out of 109. And by the time I graduated, it was 50-50. So I think we shouldn't be complacent. We should absolutely be looking for diverse shortlists and encouraging people who might not put themselves forward to do so. But um, I think diverse role models and you know, good working practices that benefit everybody, actually, not just those of um, groups who aren't seen so, so often, are really, really important and they are beginning to work. They just, we need not to get complacent and allow things to slide back. 